Okay, so we want to do this integral. So the first thing we want to figure out what this region looks like. This is an upward facing paraboloid. And uh, so the region is an upward facing paraboloid. Um, so it's like an upward facing bowl. And then the plane z is equal to 16. So it's like an upward facing paraboloid. That's the z equals x squared plus y squared part. And then this plane z is equal to 16. That's like a bowl with a lid on it. Okay, so this tells us that the z integral the z integral is going to go from x squared plus y squared to 16. But let's hold on a second and realize that when you look at when you look at the projection of this region onto the xy plane, we get a circle of radius four. So why is it a circle of radius four? Hopefully by now, if it's a paraboloid, hopefully you can understand why it's going to be a circle. Because if you just look at the projection of a paraboloid um, onto the xy plane, it's it's a circle. Okay, again, if you don't understand that, that's fine, uh, but just look at it in GeoGebra. Okay, so the region in the XY plane is gonna look something like this. Now, why is it a circle of radius four? Well, these are the two boundary surfaces, X squared plus Y squared and 16. Z equals X squared plus Y squared and Z is equal to 16. So the biggest part of a upward face open, open, uh, of an upward opening paraboloid is going to be the top of it. Okay, if we cut, you know, if we put a bowl on it, the biggest region, the biggest, you know, part of this this region that we have is going to be the top, where z is equal to 16. Now, if z is equal to 16, this means x squared plus y squared is equal to z. That's equal to 16. So it means x squared plus y squared equals 16. In other words, a circle of radius four. Okay, so now z is going to go from x squared plus y squared to 16. So for every point in the xy plane, z is going to go from x squared plus y squared to 16. That is like from the side of the bowl to the lid of, lid of the bowl. Okay, but in polar coordinates, x squared plus y squared is r squared. So z is going to go from r squared up to 16, or I should say um, in cylindrical coordinates. Okay, now the x and y integral, this is going to be the r and theta integral. r will go from zero to four and theta will go from zero to two pi. Okay, when we're integrating the function z, now we just did the polar, so actually, so don't forget to always write the r uh, dz dr d theta. Actually, I'm gonna have to scoot that over a little bit. R dz dr d theta, and this hieroglyph here is actually a z. Let me try that again. Okay, and the function that we're integrating is z um, in polar coordinates, that's just z, or uh, cylindrical coordinates, that's just z because the only coordinates we changed were the X and the Y coordinates. And this is equal to 4,096 pi over three. Okay. Like I said, okay, so like I've said before, this is a tedious but straightforward integral. Okay, so now let's look at this one. So let E be the region that lies inside the cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals four, uh, and in between the plane z equals one and z equals 11. So what's going on here? The x squared plus y squared equals four. This is a cylinder of radius two centered along the z axis, and we're just chopping it off at z equals one and z is equal to 11. And so we're gonna wanna do polar coordinates for this. So Z stays the same. Z is gonna go from one to 11. Okay, and then in the XY plane, we're just integrating over a region, uh, over the disk of radius two. So R will go from zero to two. Theta will go from zero to two pi. Okay, and now we put in the uh, cylindrical 
coordinates or polar coordinates are dz dr d theta. Okay, and now we're integrating the function the square root of x squared plus y squared in polar coordinates or cylindrical coordinates. x squared plus y squared is r squared, then we take the square root, and this is what we end up with. And this is just equal to 160 pi divided by 3. Okay, done with that one. Again, a tedious integral, but still straightforward.